Hello, this is Peter with Go Engineer. In this video, I'll be showing you how to 3D print and assemble a gimbal enabled drone. What this means is that this drone can tilt the FPV and the GoPro cameras forward and back. This enables the flyer to get shots that you normally can't get with a standard FPV drone. It also would be possible to add head tracking to this, so that could be a fun little project. What I like the most about this drone though, is I'm able to get awesome cinematic footage while still being able to do full acrobatics that I normally could do with an FPV drone. I really enjoy being able to follow rivers looking down, or barreling down the hillside doing flips. So I hope you enjoy this video, and if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comment section below and I'll try and answer them the best I can. If you enjoy the video, please consider liking and subscribing as that enables us to continue putting out content like this. Enjoy. To make this drone, we're going to need to 3D print three components. The largest component is 300mm by 250mm by 50mm if you'd like to print this. We're going to be loading this up into GrabCAD and we'll be making sure that we have a sparse infill for the parts. We'll then send it off to our Stratasys F370 and we'll be starting with loading a build tray. Once it's done, we then start the print. This print will be in ASA black and it's going to be in 10,000 slice height. It's going to take about 14 hours to do. With the print complete, we're going to start with removing it from the printer and we'll break off the pieces from the bed. We'll then remove the loose support by hand and we'll be putting it in our ultrasonic tank which has a solution of sodium hydroxide with water. We'll then put our smaller piece in the cage and then we'll put a lid over it so the pieces don't float. Once we've done this, we're going to wait about 30 minutes and the pieces should be clean by then. With it now clean, we could rinse it off with water and start assembly right away. We are now going to be gathering our 3D printed components. You could ignore the piece in the bottom left as you will not need it. We are also going to get our electronics together. You will need your camera stack, your SpeedyB flight stack, motors, receiver, servo, and 5V UBEC. We will start with working on the servo motor. You'll want to screw the 3D printed camera mount onto the servo. Once you've done this, we can set it aside and move on to the next step of mounting the flight stack. You'll want to tap the plastic with M2 and M3 screws. Once you've done this, you could screw in the screws for the flight stack. And then we could begin mounting the motors. Make sure to orient the motors so that the wires follow the plastic arms. Once you've done this, we can now mount the servo motor. To do this, we'll need four M3 screws that are relatively short. Once you've screwed that in, we can mount the camera stack. For that, we'll need four M2 screws, and we'll screw that down. To attach the lid, we're going to need to feed the antenna in, and then we're going to attach it to our camera stack. Once we've done this, we could then feed in the wires and we'll place the lid over. We'll then pull the receiver into the GPS, place it roughly, and then we'll attach the camera using two screws. We'll then use M3 screws to secure the lid. And once we've done that, we're going to secure the front camera. And then we'll be securing the receiver and the GPS with tape. The next step is we're going to be mounting the GoPro. So using an M5 screw and a nut, we're going to lock that down. And then we're going to use zip ties to make sure the wires are all secure. With the assembly complete, we could finally get to fly. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll be putting the STLs in the description below. I will also put an in-depth explanation into how to assemble, as well as how to do the wiring and the part list. So, have a great day, and thank you for watching.